While it may feel like season three of Fortnite Chapter 2 has only just begun, we're actually already on the verge of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. Man, I'm so excited. In just a short couple of weeks, Season 4 will be upon us, right? And with that means massive new changes to the game and the end of a season event and a brand new battle pass to sink our teeth into. Nothing official about Season 4 has been revealed just yet, but as usual, there are, you know, a whole host of leaks and rumors flying around. So in this video today, we're going to be covering everything we know about Chapter 2, Season 4. You guys ready for this? What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. I'm here to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. Your friend, Keith. Alan, back again, man, to do this amazing, amazing video. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at Your Motivation Guy. All right, guys, it's about that time. Bunch of Grunt Charmaine, y'all. I'm so hyped. Say it with me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. <laughs> Woo! And let's get this going. Do you want to play like Mongrel, Benji, or any other pro player? Learn the techniques and training routines that all the pros use only at ProGuides.com. Okay, you can get one-on-one -on -one pro coaching, join live pro classes, and watch pro courses from some of the best players in the world. It's time to take your skills to a new level. Start winning your Fortnite games now. Join ProGuides today. So one of the most interesting things that we've learned about the next season of Fortnite so far comes from a glitch. Certain people have had their games reveal a comic book that appears in the battle pass screen of the game. It is able to be clicked on and as listed as comic title placeholder number one, which not only implies that you aren't meant to be able to see it yet, but that it's the first in a series of comic books that are going to be accessible in the game. All right, so if you zoom in on the comic book, then some pretty interesting things are revealed in the panels. The first panel clearly shows the rainbow bridge of the Bifrost connecting to the legendary home of the Norse gods Asgard. The second appears to show Thor sitting on the throne beneath Egrazil, the world tree. The third panel in this sequence is a little more blurred than the rest, and we can't quite make out what it is, but panel four is clearly the imposing figure of Galactus, the devourer of worlds. The final of all the panels in this comic book is none other than Thor, holding the mythical hammer, Mjolnir. But this isn't just any old version of Thor, it's one of the strongest, the Thor of the new 2020 run of the comics. The comic that the Fortnite comic page is referencing is, in fact, the first issue of the new 2020 run. It takes a few different panels from throughout the issue and mashes them together to tell a shorter version of that issue's story. Okay, so after the death of Odin, Thor is now king of Asgard and is basically living in retirement from fighting as an Avenger by ruling Asgard. But his rule of Asgard is disturbed by none other than the mighty Galactus, a planet-devouring cosmic being as he comes crashing down to Asgard in distress, running from the intergalactic plague that destroyed his original universe. So, Thor gathers the past heralds of Galactus, but Galactus goes on to claim that Thor shall become a new herald, the Herald of Thunder, and endows him with the mighty power cosmic. Deadpool, leave the ball to come on. It's uncertain of how all this is going to play into the story of Fortnite Battle Royale as it unfolds over the coming months. Some have suggested that Thor will be the next secret superhero skin along the same line as Deadpool and Aquaman, but others have suggested Thor might play a much bigger role in the story, and that's all because of certain leaks from the files of the game. So, according to leaks from the game files, the end of the season will come with an event known by the codename High Tower. We know of a few things that will occur within the High Tower event, and considering the events of the Fortnite storyline over the past few years, there could be some pretty big impacts on the lore of Fortnite, as well as ties to the potential Thor Marvel crossover. We know of two things that's going to occur for sure during this event. All right, first off, a gigantic rift will appear above Caddy Corner. The leaker Hypex was able to get this rift to spawn into the game early, and it looks just like the rifts that occurred in the previous chapter of Fortnite. 
Could this be hinting that the old Fortnite map isn't as destroyed as we all thought it was? There's no way to really know what this Rift's arrival will mean for the Fortnite storyline, but it might have something to do with Galactus. So if you put the Rift sounds into a spectrogram, it shows the shape of someone's upper torso, arms, and head. The clearest image that has been shown of this person comes from the leaker, Asriel Dev. And judging by the two spikes that seem to be coming out of the figure's head, this could very well be none other than Galactus himself. There is more evidence that the High Tower event might somehow link to Marvel, and more specifically Thor. In the files, these strange runic symbols have been found, and some leakers have managed to force them to spawn in-game already. They haven't been able to show up where these runes will sit on the map, but they do strangely look like the result of the Bifrost impacting the ground. While the runic symbols are different and designed to what we see in the comics and the MCU movies, you have to admit man that the pattern that has been left behind shares an uncanny resemblance to Thor's most common form of interplanetary travel. The very same leaks from the game files have also revealed a new encrypted POI that is waiting to be added to the game, which is currently called Crater. It's a known, you know, what's going to cause this crater or why, but it's almost definitely tied into the rest of the event. Considering the runic sigils embedded themselves into the ground, it could be that this POI is just related to those impacting the ground. Equally, it could be something much cooler, like Galactus crashing into the Fortnite map, and the same way he crashes down into Asgard in the comics. Equally, it could be neither of those options and something not related to superheroes at all. On August 15th, Hypix revealed even more Marvel-themed crossover information, though we aren't sure how likely this one will be to happen. His tweet claims that Epic was actually planning to make a Wolverine skin and a Wolverine Claws pickaxe in Season 4 and that he might be the Season 4 secret skin or just another item shop skin. The leak does supposedly come from one of Hypex's most trusted sources, but considering the tweet says Epic was only planning on making this new skin, we really don't know if this is going to be ever made or not. While there seems to be plenty of Marvel stuff on the way, all right, Fortnite has never been afraid to mix and match when it comes to its superhero themed skins and crossovers. And while Marvel might be getting most of the attention in this upcoming season, it might actually be DC who gets the last laugh. In November, after the Season 4 update, a new bundle will be added to the game, so say the Fortnite leakers. The pack will cost players 1,000 V-Bucks and will contain new outfits, bag blings, pickaxes, and a contrail. The skins will be the Joker and Poison Ivy from the DC Universe, and a new Midas skin, which is currently being called Midas Rex. We'll be talking about that a little bit more in a second. The back blings will be called Laugh Riot, Back Bloom, and the Midas Crest while the pickaxes are the bad joke, the Joker's Revenge, Ivy Axe, and the King Maker. While finally the Contra will be called Pick a Card. Sing Midas in this new skin pack is an interesting development for the Fortnite storyline. The last time we saw the character was in the season three opening cutscene, where he was seemingly munched on by the shark that Miascos were riding. There have been some new golden objects appearing around the map as the season has continued, but we've never actually seen the character himself again until now. This new Midas Rex skin is pretty interesting too. People have long speculated that Midas might be the reincarnation of King Oro, and there are lots of similarities in this new Midas skin to the original King Oro. His crown seems to be, you know, upside down on Midas Rex's chest plate, and he also seems to have the same tattered piece of felt on the front part of his armor. Some Twitter users have also claimed that the new Midas skin looks strangely similar to the Cyclo skin from earlier in Chapter 2's story, but we're gonna leave it to you guys to make your own decisions on that one. Outside of the realm of skins, each new seasonal update to Fortnite usually brings new gameplay features and mechanics, and it looks like Season 4 of Chapter 2 is going to be no different in that regard, and we might already have an idea of what we're in for. In Chapter 2 Season 4, we may experience a complete revamp and rework of the flopper system in Fortnite. Currently, the floppers in Fortnite only allow you to gain shields and health, and while that's quite useful, it would have been even more interesting for Epic Games to give us a little more variety in the effects of the fish that can now be found all over the Fortnite island. Leakers have also been able to find both images and names for a whole host of upcoming floppers, which could promise to change how we interact with the consumable fish forever. There is the thermal flopper, jelly flopper, hot flopper, and fire flopper. According to Hypex, all of these fish already exist in the fishing spots, loot pools, but they are 
currently disabled because Epic is still testing them. So only two of the floppers have really obvious effects in the list of the new fish, and that's the shield flopper and the hop flopper. The shield flopper will probably be just a bigger shield flopper, giving us as much shield as the big shield pop that's in the game. The hop flopper, meanwhile, will probably have a similar effect to the hop rocks that we all learned to love in chapter one, allowing players to leap and just bound across the Fortnite island in a kind of a low gravity effect. The thermal flopper, jelly flopper, and fire flopper are a bit more ambiguous. The thermal flopper might give you a temporary thermal vision, similar to the old thermal AR, but it's unlikely that the fire flopper will set you on fire or the jelly flopper will turn you into jelly. So we're really not sure what's going on there. We already have both images and sounds for all of these new floppers, and the images have revealed that there are actually going to be a lot more fish added to the game than you would initially expect. Not only are there going to be fish with new effects, but all of the fish are going to get a whole bunch of color variants as well. Before Season 3 of Fortnite Chapter 2 leaked, the YouTuber Tabor Hill claimed that his inside sources had told him about a new fishing book that would track all the types of fish that you can catch. With all these new floppers being added to the next season, that new fishing book might finally also get added to the game. So that's everything we know about Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 updates so far. Of course, everything we talked about in this video has either been leaked from the game files or reported on by people with supposed sources in Epic Games itself. So any or all of it could somehow change before launch. Either way, it's safe to say that Battle Royale Island is going to change in ways none of us can expect. All right, guys, once again, it's your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Thanks for watching Bunch of Crunch Army. Hey, make sure you don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that all important bell button so you can get a notification whenever we upload a new video. And keep eating that Bunch of Crunch, and let's get this going.